are continuing this hour to follow the controversial decision of placing the superintendent of the Charleston County School District on paid leave. A special meeting this morning included new votes by the district's board of trustees, but in the end, Dr. Eric Gallion will remain on paid leave as an investigation continues. He was placed on leave back in September in a meeting following an extensive closed door executive session. Emily Johnson joins us live from where that meeting was held this morning to give us a full recap about the turnout. Even at 8 o'clock in the morning, lots of people were there and decisions were made. Emily. Yes, Raffle, like you mentioned, dozens of community members and local leaders showed up to this morning's meeting at 8 o'clock a.m. shouting questions to the board as they debated this decision. But nothing changed from the decision that they made at last a few weeks ago's meeting. The board voted once again to put the superintendent on paid leave with a 5-4 to four vote, with the decision passing on Moms for Liberty backed board members' votes. Four members of the board also asked for the decision to be tabled until a member of the HR department could respond to specific questions, but the motion was denied. Main concerns expressed by board members Darlene Robertson, Courtney Waters, and Dr. Carol Temple included why HR cannot conduct the internal investigation instead of taxpayers' dollars paying for an external investigation. Others also questioned when while Galleon is on paid leave, why he cannot work instead of sitting at home and why he cannot be on school property. This is over the top, and I'm afraid that if we set up this president at the top, this is going to filter down to the schools, and we again will have disruption. Is that what we want for public education? Therefore, the paid leave is to protect both Dr. Galleon, the employees, and the uh, authenticity and, and uh, best outcome of the investigation so they can be to uncover the truth. Community members will be discussing this board's actions this morning tonight at Mother Emanuel Church at 7 o'clock. In reporting live in Charleston, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. All right, Emily, thank you. Now, in response to CCSD's meeting on September 25th, when Galleon was placed on paid leave, State Representative Marvin Pendarvis requested the Attorney General give an official opinion on that situation. Attorney General Alan Wilson said in response, quote, our opinions have long concluded that announcement of an executive session through generalized purpose, such as personnel matters or employment matters, are not in compliance with FOIA. The request for an investigation from the AG's office and Governor Henry McMaster has been called on now by multiple state lawmakers and local leaders. The governor needs to step in. He needs to step in because this is surely out of control. I witnessed this with many others in here today. And as a lawmaker, I can assure you that rules will be coming down from the Columbia to avoid any type of circus like this. Now the next CCSD meeting will be on October 23rd, where the board says it will continue to address this situation.